The opioid epidemic sweeping America has become a hot-button political issue in the U.S. Senate race between Marsha Blackburn and Phil Bredesen. Now a former top investigator for the Drug Enforcement Administration is taking sides. Still, as News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams discovered, there appears to be lots of blame to go around. When I saw the amount of pills that the legitimate industry was shipping to these doctors and pharmacies, it was outrageous. I mean, that was when I was like, this, this, has got to, this, this can't go on. For more than 40 years, Jim Gildolf was on the front lines of the Drug Enforcement Administration's battle against illegal drugs. As an investigator, he watched as the drug OxyContin created a new generation of addicts in the 90s. He was stunned by the dramatic rise in internet pharmacies, followed by a sharp uptick in pain clinics across the country. I've been here six, seven hours before you. Our investigations revealed how users would flock to clinics that seemingly popped up overnight. Some of these pharmacies were going through seven or eight million hydrocodone in a year. And that's just the hydrocodone, including the Xanax or the Valium 10 milligrams. So the, the numbers were off the charts. And Gildolf's job was to try to stem the flood of opioids to questionable operators. Yet he insists the pharmaceutical industry itself knew exactly what was going on. They knew where these drugs were going, they knew the quantities they were going into, and it was all about bucks, and it's as simple as that. This map shows the U.S. death rate from drug overdose in 1999. By 2015, the map looked like this. Last year, a 60 Minutes investigation profiled efforts by the pharmaceutical industry to pass this bill in 2016 that was touted as a way to help patients. It also made it more difficult for the DEA to go after distributors involved in shady shipments of opioids. Tennessee Congressman Marsha Blackburn co-sponsored the legislation. The opioid epidemic is one that affects everybody. Blackburn has said that putting handcuffs on the DEA's enforcement ability was, quote, an unintended consequence. I can assure you there were no unintended consequences by industry. They got exactly what they wanted. Surely you're, you're not suggesting that members of Congress intended for this to happen, are you? I don't know what's worse, whether they intended it to happen or they just didn't, they pass legislation and, and they don't even know what they're passing. And my name is Jim Geldof. Neil Geldof is featured in a Bredesen ad that accuses the Republican nominee of making it harder for DEA to do its job. The bill was voted on and passed unanimously in both the House and the Senate. We checked and Blackburn's right. The DEA ultimately signed off on the bill. It passed Congress with no debate and a Democratic president signed it into law. Democrats went along with it. President Obama signed it into law. Is it fair to blame one person for, for this legislation? I blame them all. She sponsored the legislation. And tonight, Congressman Blackburn's campaign accuses Bredesen's team of politicizing a public health crisis. They say she, quote, will continue to work towards a systemic solution that includes taking a tough stance on the distribution of illicit opioids and improves prevention and recovery efforts.